Hello, I'm Jason Burnfield. This is my cosmic ray detector or a muon detector. Um, and uh, I'm going to show you the features of it and how it works. So underneath the glass bell is uh, the counter. So we have a digital counter and then we have um, we have two scintillation type detectors. Um, one you can see here on the top and the other one is down below but it's behind the counter so you can't see it. Um, the counter has three momentary push, push button switches that are used to control different features. So we have a counter reset which sets it back to zero. We have over here the count button which turns on and off the count function. So if, uh, if it's off, it's not counting. Um, and then we have the mode, below that we have the mode switch, and that switches between single detector counting and coincidence detector counting. So one way that we can discriminate against uh, uh, detecting background radiation versus muons from cosmic rays is we can uh, use two detectors and only count when they both go simultaneously. So if I if I turn off the coincidence mode, it will count every detection on the the lower detector. And uh, so we're getting a lot of muons, but we're also getting some background ra radiation counted as well. And if I turn on the coincidence mode then you'll see that the count rate is a lot slower because it's only counting what what hits both of the detectors simultaneously. And um, because the the surface area of the detector is this is this square area and I, I'll talk a little more about how those work in, in a future video but because both of those detectors have a limited surface area and they're kind of they're about seven centimeters apart, so it narrows the field of view, and so it's looking at a smaller angle than if you just have one detector where it's detecting uh, incoming particles from every direction. So the count rate uh, when you're in coincidence mode goes down to um, about a little around four counts per minute. Um, or, for around 15 seconds between each count on average. Um, it's consistent enough over a long time period of time that you can you can estimate pretty close if you take uh, the count and divide by four and you can estimate how many minutes the counter's been on. Um, so now let's look at um, the detectors themselves. So, let's take a closer look at the actual detectors. So, if we zoom in on the, the detector on the top, you'll see this square here. Um, it's a five centimeter by five centimeter block of scintillator plastic. It's called Vicron 412. And um, it creates a flash of light a very weak flash of light whenever ionizing radiation passes through it. And then um, on the one end of it, there's a very sensitive photosensitive detector called a, a silicon photomultiplier that takes the very weak optical signal generated by the scintillation material and turns it into an electrical pulse. And then we have an amplifier circuit that has um, that boosts the level of that pulse and uh, stretches it out in time and then creates a digital pulse from it. And you can see the indicator LED going every time there's a, a pulse detected by that simulator, it makes the light flash and it sends a signal to the counter. Now this top counter is actually the second counter. The primary counter is the one back here and it's identical to the one on the top it's just uh, nestled down here in the bottom of the, the device, and you can see it counting. 
if I show both of them together, you can see sometimes they flash at different times. But when they flash at the same time, that's when the counter will count the coincidence mode. And we know that then a muon has traveled through both detectors. So let's turn it back on to coincidence mode here. So, um, the counter is reset. We're gonna turn coincidence mode back on. Turn the counter on. And within the next 15 seconds or so, we should see a count. 